The nation's largest mass transit system, a system that 8 million commuters depend on every weekday, will shut down about noon tomorrow. Earlier today, we talked with New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly as he prepared for the storm. The subways are going to be shut down. The buses will shut down at essentially the same time. Manhattan Island, of course, is connected by nothing but bridges and tunnels to the mainland. What happens Correct. to the bridges and tunnels if a hurricane force wind comes in? In essence, 60 mile an hour winds, the bridges are going to be shut down. So for some period of time, Manhattan is going to be isolated? Yes. Difficult to say how long, but uh, once you shut down the subway system, it takes a while to start it back up again. You know, I, I wonder, has that ever been done before in New York, the, the systematic shutting down of all the subways, the buses? Uh, not that I can recall. They, they have been shut down. For instance, we've had a blackout in 2003, I believe it was, that uh, subways just, just uh, stopped. People were removed from trains. The first time the subway system has had a planned shutdown. That's correct. That yeah. was shut down on purpose. Right. It seems to me that you spend a great deal of your time thinking about counterterrorism, And here you've had an earthquake and a hurricane in one week. That's true. That's true. But uh, interestingly enough, some of the things that we do in our counterterrorism efforts, for instance, being able to mobilize large numbers of police officers and actually create a task force for our counterterrorism efforts will be helpful in this regard. So all the work that you've done in counterterrorism, on coordinating the force, on rolling the force out for major emergencies, on communication systems, for example, all that's going to be handy now. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, the, the efforts to protect the city from a terrorist attack have helped us in uh, crime fighting and also uh, sort of an all-hazards uh, uh, approach or environment we find ourselves in that.